Hi Legends, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching episode 2 of Has Been Hotel. If you haven't seen my episode 1 reaction, I'll tag it up here so it's easy for you to find. Go watch that first and then come back to this one. All of the full length reactions to these episodes will be available down below on my Patreon. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm just so excited to get into this. The first one was so good and I didn't realise that A24 made this show. So that's a good treat and it looks very promising. So the usuals okay subscribe trying to hit 70k everyone got me to 60k last year that was amazing uh we're kind of getting there with 70k i can't wait it's very exciting more of you feel free to join i know over half of you who are watching my videos aren't subscribed so don't be shy and yeah check me out my socials it's somewhat interesting over there i'll tell you about the books i read okay vivian the mastermind you are also, hell can't be that bad because they have pets. So, I'll be fine. I'm Toots. Sure, there is. We just have to. Look I want to look at those text well, messages. Well, Pause. We're gonna go scroll back to the text messages. Get that flat bony ass to the studio. <gasps> Are they in a very toxic relationship? It seems like it. Nasty Valentino, calling them an effing bitch. Nasty. My boss Val is just freaked out about the news too. That cannot be a workplace relationship. Let's not be having a workplace relationship. That can't be good. <gasps> I didn't realize how tiny Vag is. Vaggy. Oh, makes me love her even more. Alice was not even phased. Oh, that's a power move. You Humpty Dumpty with all those eggs? We've done battle like 20 times. Well, you must have been really bad at this. Oh, this is embarrassing, girly. This is embarrassing. Alice doesn't remember you. I'd be absolutely gobsmacked. I would just hide in a corner, never show my face in public again. Just get her off what? now. Damn it, Valentino. See, Valentino. Toxic. <laughs> Massive slay. My dear people, we at Vox. Do I just like televisions and radios? Because even Mr. Vox is pretty cool with the whole TV look that they've done for this character. Or maybe I just like unique character design. <laughs> no, no, hideous. I want to die. Ew. <gasps> yes, that's the one. I feel like every single other outfit slayed way harder than that one that she chose. Did herself dirty. She's got this hotel, and which of these makes me look sexy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? This show is just me thinking that everyone looks so cool. What do you think chasing whores around town will do for our image? We're all whores at the end of the day, aren't we? Aren't we? Like, how cool is it that this person's, like, character design has a lot of hearts, and when they smoke, it comes out like hearts as well. That's just so... The attention to detail, detail in this is just so lovely to see. The radio demon is there. Alistair? <laughs> They're coming for Alistair too? Alistair came back. Alistair has a lot of enemies. I'm not surprised, though. I'd be mad if someone looked that cool, and if someone's voice was that hot. Oh, shit. <laughs> See, what did I say? Alistair is powerful. <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks. Angel really will just hit on anyone, anything. Uh, I thought he was gone for good too. <gasps> it's been seven years. Villain musical moment. Town, that's for sure. I gotta send a message. The instrumental right now is so just cool. Oh, I'm a sucker for a villain song. I don't like to compare, but this does give um friend like me from Aladdin. It's just the instrumental. And I guess the quick talking nature to it. I just think they're all jealous of Alistair. The girlies, they all want to fight him. They all want to be him. They want to be with him. Hey, I get it. Oh, I love a good split screen. I love when they have fun with animation as well. Like, yes, play with the way you display it. Hmm? Alistair? Let's begin. I'm so interested to see Alistair's character arc. Hello, other oh, mother. Oh, oh, be. I live for these kind of horrifying <laughs> moments that could be so nightmarish. Someone pathetic, 
Pathetic. <laughs> okay, British. Yeah, have that Cockney accent. I don't even know it's Cockney. It's just, just like lazy British accent. You know, missing the letters. I come in peace. What are you? Doing? Yeah, Vaggy. What's the problem? <gasps> oh. I heard that you're helping people. People who want. They want to stay at the hotel. You heard right. Their first customer. This, this is... Babe, you don't have to show them every detail. Yes, yes, she does. Let the girlie be excited. Over here, we have our maid, Vitsy. <laughs> the bad boy is back. <laughs> Never leave me again. Another character here with daddy issues. I definitely remember you now. I actually got chills. I am so into Alistair. It's, it's tragic. I need help. <laughs> Everyone, follow me. My name is Charlie. My name's the Penches. I love how we're adding the claps. Charlie said, no matter what, we're making this a musical moment. Say no to drugs. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to not have sexual intercourse before marriage. Oh, that's such a lame one though, isn't it? That's a rule you do not need to live by. It. And if you want to live by it, that's fine. But don't feel pressure to live by it. Angel, you bitch. If you don't come home, you will be <sighs> crazy truckers for the next year. Oh, how crazy you make me. You don't go back to Valentino. Not now, fat nuggets. Fat nuggets? Angel better stay at the hotel. I don't want to see Angel going back to Valentino. Nuh-uh, not in this lifetime. <laughs> <gasps> oh, those landed. But I didn't doubt for a second that Angel could throw hands. It hasn't even been a day. Please, you've got to get me out of here. So, it's so embarrassing that even your boss is laughing at you. Even something this simple. And do us a favor. If they don't kill you, go ahead and do it yourself. <laughs> Miserable failure. I... I... Oh, but you were a flop. You were a failure. Kind of embarrassing. Who could yeah. A dirt bag like me? These songs speak to me. Say one sincere sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so interested to see these people in he hell being rehabilitated through Charlie's plan and hotel, like with um, pretentious pre. pre Pretentious, pro, pretentious. I don't, I don't remember their name. Hmm. I'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alistair. Okay, episode two was also a really big slap. Like that. That was a bob. Alistair continues to be a stand-up character in this show just because they are both kind of hot but also really scary with their potential but I love that episode it was really interesting seeing that character the slithery potential potentious becoming a little bit rehabilitated and seeing them start from the beginning wanting to fight and then crying and wanting to change and also, yeah, the songs, they I would describe them as forgettable so far, but I like them within the concept of the episode. Anyway, though, thank you so much for watching this one with me. If you want to see my other episode reactions to this show, they'll be available up here in this Has Been Hotel playlist, and the full-length reactions will still be available down below on my Patreon. Let me know, what is your favourite episode of this show? Have you seen it? Are you watching it for the first time with me? If you are, I highly suggest you also go check out the episodes on your own, because these are really good, and they're visually quite stunning. If you like this video, you might like one of these videos. If you want to see the other Has Been Hotel reaction, that'll be up here. Anything else you want to watch, though, I'll put it down here. Feel free to click on either or, whatever your mood is. Hopefully I see you there. I'd love to see you back there. But for now, that's enough from me. Bye.